friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a really quick intro because I'm getting ready to start driving. Um, oh, not my camera. No, you were fine just two seconds ago. Okay, I'm headed to go pick up my friend Jess, uh, my best friend Jess, and we are going book shopping. So we're meeting up with a couple friends. So um, all of them have bookstagram, so I will leave them linked below. Only one of my friends will know. She has her personal page. She posts about books. So anyway, I'll leave all of her their Instagrams down below. So uh, I'm going book shopping with my coworker and friend Gabby, um, Sarah from Sarita's Bookshelf, Jess from Jess and Her Chaotic Chapters, Meg and Sarah, which are twin sisters, and they both have bookstagrams. So we're all meeting up at Half Price Books, and I'm so excited. Um, I haven't seen Sarah in a long time, and yeah, I'm just excited for everyone to get together and just bookshop <laughs> we are going to have price books so that bag back there that aldi bag is some books that i'm getting rid of and some arcs that i'm going to be giving to my friends um and other books that i'll be giving to them so yeah i am driving so i will stop vlogging now and i will see you whenever i pick up jess or when we are at half price books oh my god did you always have things just ready <laughs> I'm getting rid of some books. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I saw books on the floor. Just arcs, arc shopping on the floor. Okay, no, you no, no. Uh -huh. I don't have any of these books. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> so this is from mm -hmm. Madeline Wrangle, who did the uh, Wrinkle in Time. and But mm -hmm. it's an anthology. But I love anthologies. <laughs> Okay. And I love her. So this is one. That How I'm much is that one? This one's ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. And then this one sounds right up my alley with how weird it is. And mm -hmm. that's but that's fifteen dollars. So something okay. to bear in mind. Because technically I could just try to rent it from the library. That house in Mango Street is so that's such an old book too. It's five bucks though. Yeah, but that was that wasn't here. That was over no? okay. I just haven't read it yet. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> yes. So this one will have to stay. Um this one is also right up my alley and this one i have to get for seamus and this one i just feel like i really should because it tells the story of norma but this will take me a long time so which one are you not sure about um the one in your hand this one and this one i guess i'd say this one because only because i've heard of alice keep hoffman or, or, or keep keep this one yeah but i feel bad because <laughs> you want to read that one <laughs> yeah but it's also is i have that too because this might be one that i can have read to me. I forgot to do the reel where we were like, who's gonna buy the most books? But now I know <laughs> what everyone has in their hands. So we'll do a clip later where we say how many books everyone bought. <laughs> it's definitely. Hi, I'm Naomi and I bought one book. Hi, I'm Sarah and I bought four books. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabby, and I bought eight books, but I'm walking out with 12. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan, and I bought five books. Hi, I'm Sarah. I bought five books. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess, and I bought three books. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good freaking morning. We are on our way to the gym, so... I'm pretty sure that the last clip that you saw, ew, there's a poop on my window. Mm. Okay, the last clip that you must have seen was me out with my friends at Half Price Books. Um, we had an amazing time. Um, I will say that was legit a week ago. <laughs> and I edited that video and it was only like three to four minutes long. So I was like, well, let me make that into a week reading vlog because I am meeting Catherine Center this week, so I can vlog that. And yeah, so I ended up meeting Catherine Center yesterday and I'm going to insert the clips from that, which is not a lot of clips because I've been really focused on my Instagram. I've been doing like Instagram reels a lot more. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. <laughs> but yeah, most of my Catherine Center author signing content it's on instagram 
so go over there and watch all of that i do have like two clips or so from the signing event but yeah so the video so far is probably still about five minutes so i'm probably just gonna keep vlogging this weekend because i am reading two really good books uh, i'm currently reading fourth wing by rebecca jaros i've been reading that for like a whole week now but i am taking my time with it because it is fantasy i want to really like it and i am enjoying it so far so I can give you more of my thoughts on that in a minute. And I am still reading my arc from Summerween, which is this Wretched Valley. I am so sorry, this clip is a mess. But yes, I'm also reading This Wretched Valley by Jenny Kiefer. So today's Friday, so I'm gonna be vlogging Saturday and Sunday. I don't know what's going on. Um, I do have some Barbie content that I need to post. I did make a Catherine Center reel as well, so I have to edit all that together. Um, I'm working from home today and that's the plan. So I guess you guys are getting a week and a half <laughs> reading vlog thing. <laughs> the decidedly non-literary cover and opened it up to the first chapter to take What's gonna get to? Uh, Could I please do a medium ice latte? Can I do that with almond milk? Sure. That's it for me, thank you. 635, you can go already. Thank you. Ready for a hike. Whatever boundaries you want to set, Maddie, I, I just, want to be there for our children hi friends good morning so of course i totally forgot to vlog this weekend so today is monday i'm actually headed to work so i'm gonna make this short and sweet but basically i totally forgot to vlog and i already finished fourth wind by rebecca jaros and i started another book so i'm just gonna do a really quick wrap up here because i don't want this footage to go to waste so in order to be able to call this a reading vlog i gotta give some sort of reading update so um yeah so i finished fourth wing by rebecca jaros i really really enjoyed this this is a fantasy this is taking over the internet i'm sure that you've seen it um this is like a new adult about a dragon rider and basically like a dragon rider school it's very much like divergent hunger games attack on titan if you know that anime vibes all combined into one book I really enjoyed it. Um, I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. It's more like a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I just didn't love the main character as much. Um, it's not usually like the, the main character for these type of stories that I enjoy. I did like in Akatar like some of the sexy scenes. Um, and some of the ones here are fine. I just don't like her inner <laughs> monologue. Like, a lot of what she thinks about is sex. And I'm just like, you're in a dragon writing school that you could die at any moment. Like, let's be, let's set our priorities straight here. Like, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> or maybe I'm just too used to, like, the original, like, young adult novels. Um, like, Katniss Everdeen and... Uh, Tris and all these people that are very like survival mode and they don't think about anything like that our main character um it's not very survival mode she's just thinking about sex and it's re it was just odd to me because I'm just like you could die at any moment like what is priorities it's just what was in my mind <laughs> I did enjoy it. the the ending was really good um there are some twists turns and a lot happens in this book um it's basically like her not her whole year yeah kind of like the whole first year of her being in the school and they explain a lot of magic and stuff so yeah i did really like it though but the whole sex stuff was just not not it for me and then i did start violeta by isabel allende um this is my book club pick for my irl book club here in cleveland um our book club is this friday so today's monday 
So I have to finish this pretty soon. I started tabbing it. Um, this is a historical fiction set in Chile. And it's basically the story of this woman. Her name's Violeta. And it's basically from the moment that she's born in her whole life. Uh, growing up, moving around, her kids. Uh, but this is all told as if she's writing this letter to this person named Camilo. And you don't know who Camilo is. Um, but it's really really interesting because there's just so much history uh, the world war and all of these things um, the Spanish flu the Great Depression like all of these things that happen um, that I don't know much about and our main character is very um, interesting because she's also not very inclined to be political so you're kind of seeing it from the point of view of someone who's not political and doesn't really understand and i'm like that's very much me like i don't really know everything going on in the politics and everything so it's i understand it better <laughs> and this is also my first isabel allende i know that she's written like a million books in her life um but yeah i'm really really liking it um honestly like i keep thinking of City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert and even Evelyn Hugo um this book gives me those vibes just because of the historical fiction aspect and like seeing the life of a, a person like from the moment they're born um so I'm really enjoying it um and yeah I would definitely recommend it if you like Evelyn Hugo or City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert alrighty so th these were the books that I read this week um and yeah thank you so much for watching I definitely did not want that footage from book shopping and Catherine Center to go to waste so here we are I hope you enjoyed this in some sort of way um and yeah I will see you next time bye <laughs>